welcome back to another Steel Mace Flow tutorial. I'm Coach Kristen and I have the pleasure and honor of being a Steel Mace Flow educator. If you are interested in learning more about the art of Steel Mace Flow, please reach out as I offer virtual training, classes, and even mentorships to get you certified to teach Steel Mace Flow. Today's flow is going to start in our warrior position with a 360. We're going to take that bottom hand, we're going to grab halfway up the mace and go to an outside mill and then a behind the back transfer, but I'm going to catch that behind the back transfer in a Shaolin zero, step number four. So we've got our outside mill, I'm going to cast and transfer the mace behind me, but I'm going to catch it in a Shaolin zero, step four. So let's try that one more time, 360. Outside mill, Shaolin zero, step four. From here, I'm gonna grab thumb towards the globe, but I wanna make sure my thumb is out of the way because I'm gonna send the mace overhead into a helicopter spin. So I should be finishing thumb to globe or a sword down position. And I'm gonna let that tail come all the way behind me. And I'm gonna finish in a step number two lunge with landmark one in the back. From here, I'm going to grab it in a dagger grip. I'm going to release the globe and pull up on the tail. As I do that, I'm going to crescent step to the back and catch that globe so that I can fold it into a offset shield cradle like this. Once I've got that shield cradle, I'm going to grab the tail of the mace and I'm going to use my cradle to pop it into a drop in 360. I'm going to catch pinky to globe and pull the globe behind me into landmark one rotated facing the side. From here I'm just going to joust the mace forward as I push off my front leg. So I joust, switch, and catch it in cross body bottom step number two. From there we're all set to go on the other side. So we've got our 360, our outside mill, Behind the back transfer to Shaolin in step four. I'm gonna go into that hel <laughs> into that helicopter slit, hopefully more gracefully than that. And finishing in landmark one, step number two, landmark one in the back. I'm gonna grab that dagger grip, release the globe, catch under underhand, fold it into my shield cradle, pop it into my drop in 360, catch pinky to globe, pull down to landmark one rotated. Joust switch and finish in landmark two. So, message me with any questions, tag me if you try this, and always, always flow on, my friends.